Hey everyone, and welcome back to the series. Last time we explored content-based recommender systems and how they use the intrinsic features of items to make predictions. Today, we are diving into collaborative filtering with a closer look at the mathematics behind it. The basic idea behind collaborative filtering is that we don't need these manually made features for our items, and instead we can model user preferences and item characteristics purely based on observed interactions. Thus, by analyzing the patterns in our user book rating matrix, we can infer hidden or latent factors that capture the underlying relationships between users and items, allowing us to predict how a user might rate a book they haven't encountered yet. One intuitive approach involves directly computing similarities between users. For example, if two users have rated many items in a similar fashion, we can quantify their similarity using metrics like the cosine similarity, which treats each user's rating as a vector and computes the cosine of the angle between those vectors. And once we have a similarity score between users, we predict an unknown rating by taking a weighted average of the ratings from similar users. In mathematical terms, if we denote the rating of user i for book j as r i j in the similarity between user i and another user k as s i k, then predicting rating for user i on book j can be computed by assuming the products of s i k and r k j over all user k who rated book j, and then dividing by the sum of the absolute similarity scores to normalize the result. A more advanced approach in collaborative filtering is based on matrix factorization. Here we assume that the large user item matrix can be approximated by the product of two smaller matrices. Each user is associated with a latent feature vector in the matrix Q, and each item is similarly represented by its own latent feature vector in the matrix P. The predictor rating for a user on an item is given by the dot product of those two vectors. And if we denote the latent vector for user i as pi and for item j as qj, then their prediction is simply pi transpose multiplied by qj. Now, the challenge is to learn these latent vectors such that the dot product approximates the actual ratings as closely as possible. And there are many algorithms that factorize the matrix really well, such as the singular value decomposition, or SVD in short, SVD++, which is an improved SVD factorization, non-negative matrix factorization, alternating least squares, or by simply using the stochastic gradient descent on some minimization objective that you define, like the squared difference between your ratings and your predictions. However, I will not cover these factorization methods in this video, since they deserve a dedicated discussion to explore the mathematical foundations and implementation details properly. And I would like this video to be more of a focus on the intuition behind collaborative filtering, rather than some specific implementation. And with all this being said, that's basically how collaborative filtering works in recommender systems. It simply analyzes user rating patterns and leverages the collective wisdom of similar users to predict missing preferences. One important thing to note is that both neighborhood-based methods and matrix factorization approaches must contend with challenges like data sparsity and the cold start problem. Topics we'll cover in the next video, so make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this series so far. Bye-bye.